Hey guys, my name is Bharat and I'm the creator of Bharat in Germany. This is the episode 10, season 3 of A Day in Life of a Student in Germany. And this is the last episode of this season. In this episode, we have someone from Erlangen with us who is going to show us his day in life. Let's take a look. My name is Suman Goswami and I'm studying Masters in Medicine Technique at Friedrich Alexander University at Erlangen, Germany. I come from West Bengal, India and I've previously completed my Bachelor's in Computer Engineering from RGPB Bhopal. Uh, so this is going to be a video where I show you how my day uh, in the life of an Indian student unfolds. So I generally start my day with a cup of tea and a sandwich. Well, that is the easiest and the most uh, fastest breakfast you can have. So I choose this and uh, yeah, so that's it. I'm having my breakfast and uh, I have my pattern analysis uh, lecture in a few moments. Uh, no thanks to COVID. We have all our lectures, uh, you know, we have video lectures online. So I have that in a few moments and uh, see you soon. working at a startup in Nuremberg, Bavaria called the Gorillas GM Beha. They are basically dealing with online grocery ordering and deliveries and what makes them special is that the order is always delivered to the customer in 10 minutes. I work there as an inventory associate with 20 working hours per week. As a student in Germany, you are allowed to work for 20 hours a week or a total of 960 hours in a whole year. You can either work 240 half days in a year or 120 full days in a year with a student residence permit. I'll be showing you a, 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 like a bit of a important places like the technical faculty, the uh, city center, the shopping complex where I am going right now to buy some groceries and uh, after that I'll be showing you the Sloss Garden where uh, some friends of mine are gonna come and we're going to sit and discuss a few things. So that's it. So this is the technical faculty here. This is where all the lectures and the labs for the engineering department is situated basically. Uh, behind me you can see the IT department. Uh, beside us we have the computer science department and there is the Fraunhofer labs and the advanced materials labs behind the camera. We'll be showing you all these places in a bit. 
uh, I, I'll, I'll show you as much as I can because of COVID, everything is under lockdown and there are entry restrictions at almost all the places. Even in the labs where uh, work is going on, you can be there with an appointment and even then only two persons at a time can be present. Behind all of this, we have the natural sciences department and uh, like the physics lab, the biology lab and the chemistry departments are situated there. We'll take you guys there and I'll try to show as much as I can in the open grounds. So we are in the heart of Erlangen. This place is called the Schlossgarten. It's a garden. It's a really beautiful place to gather around, maybe a small gathering of two or three people. And me and my friends, whenever we get some free time, you know, after a day of work, we come here, we visit this place, we sit together and, you know, gather our ideas about our next vlog, photography, videography and studies also. So this is basically the only place open for, you know, social gatherings, but that too, uh, like, you know, in small groups of two or three, maybe. So I'll be showing you the place in a bit. It's really beautiful in the summer time, but this year the summer is a really late shower, but I think you'll like the place. Stay in a shared apartment, which is called a Wohngemeinschaft in Germany. I share the apartment with two other people and they are enrolled in the same program in FAU as me. This is really helpful because we can have group study sessions very often, mostly during the exam periods. This is the room where I spend most of my day in. I shared this room with one of my roommates and fortunately, unlike me, she is well organized and likes to keep the room neat and tidy. The best part about this room is the view from the window, especially during the day and sometimes during the suns. Alright guys, so the day comes to an end and this is basically the end of the video and here I would like to mention a few points that I think would be very much necessary for you people to keep in mind for a better life in Germany of which the first and foremost point is do learn German because at the end of the day your course would be in English but you would need German to you know communicate with people everywhere you go on the streets to socially connect or in the supermarkets or even sometimes with your professors. So yeah, and the second point that I would like to emphasize on is about punctuality. Germans are really punctual. So be punctual and like everything here is on time. The bus, the trains, the pe people here, the, everybody is on time. So be on time. The third point that I would want to talk about is cleanliness. Germans have a way to make you understand the way that they want everything clean. 
सो यू हैव टू यू नो गेम योर सेल्फ अप टू दैट सर्टन लेवल ऑफ क्लीनलीनेस कीप योर हाउस क्लीन कीप योर सराउंडिंग्स क्लीन एज मच एज यू कैन द गार्बेज हेयर इज सेग्रीगेटेड बेसिकली इन टू फोर डिफरेंट यू नो टाइप्स द ग्लास गोज इन टू वन बिन द प्लास्टिक गोज इन टू दी अदर द बायो म्यूल गोज इन टू दी अदर बिन एंड द ऑल दीज थिंग्स द रेस्ट म्यूल गोज इन टू दी अदर बिन सो यू हैव टू लर्न दैट सेग्रीगेशन ऑफ वेस्ट एज वेल the fourth point that i would want to uh, you know talk about is to balance your work life and your social life networking is very important here you need to make friends you need to make you know like friends where you work you need to make friends in your university you need to make friends where you live so you know these connections come in handy a lot when you are searching for jobs or when you are searching for internships or maybe student assistantship somewhere so yeah keep this thing in mind and the last point that i would want to talk about is that always be updated about the news and your surroundings like what's going on in your society what's going on in your city or your state and uh, especially now when uh, like everywhere it's just corona so you know you need to know what are the uh, hygiene rules uh, what are the curfew rules or maybe what are the mask rules here so that would help you a lot in your daily life So that was all from me. So enjoy your time in Germany and it's time for me to sleep now. So good night and take care. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're interested in take part in season 4, already start sending us your uh, submissions on a day in life at bharatinjerman.com so that we can keep you in the list and we can help you understand how do you make the videos and stuff and the process is very simple for you so we look forward to your submissions and the season 4 we will be releasing very soon i'll see you in the next one